Hello, in this video I want to tell you the story of how I invented the eggs at XX Celsius degrees. It began a very long time ago when I wanted to understand how do eggs coagulate. And indeed it was very strange because at that time the physicist told me that eggs make a chemical gel but the chemists were saying that eggs make a physical gel. So indeed, nobody knew really. And this is why I made this uh, scientific study of how egg coagulate, and I demonstrated that eggs coagulate because of the formation of disulfide bridges and the validation of this new theory was performed through the uncooking of an egg. So I uncook an egg, but this is another story that is being told in another podcast. And now um, let's go back to the theories that I had at that time. We begin on the left with a raw egg white and we eat to get a cooked egg white. In a raw egg white, you have 90% water and 10% proteins. So the water molecules are the small Mickey Mouse heads that are turned, and the proteins are the coils. If you eat such a system, the velocity of the molecules increases, and uh, the protein denaturates which means that they uncoil, let's say. When they uncoil, they, they, they can link through the sulfide bridges, and it makes a network, a scaffold, let's say, in which the water molecules are trapped. This is a soft solid. This is a cooked egg white. Okay, but now this theory is not enough because everybody knows that when you cook an egg, for a very long time, the egg whites turn harder and harder, a rubbery, and nothing appears about time in this picture, in this theory. And very soon, I had the idea that because there are different kinds of proteins in the egg white, they should not denaturate at the same temperature, which means that at a certain temperature, there would be uh, first coagulation for the, the red coils, and you make a first network. All the proteins and water molecules are trapped inside this network, but now if you increase the temperature, not the time, the temperature, you make a second network inside the first, which means that the gel becomes harder, and so on. So uh, the, the question of eggs becoming harder and harder with time is only a consequence of the temperature increasing inside the egg. How could we um, uh, validate this theory? Very easily, because we have the denaturation temperatures of various proteins, and we can predict that if we stop between the first and the second co coagulation, then we will be able to have a fixed result. And this is what I did. I remember very well the, the experiment. I decided to cook at 65 Celsius degrees. And here is the result, an egg that was cooked for two hours at 65 Celsius degrees. So you see the egg yolk is still liquid. The white is, um, is translucent. It's very soft. And at that time, some friends of mine told me, whoa, but we know that in Japan it's on Santamago. Well, I'm not convinced because, you know, in hot sources, for sure, you can make something. But what is it exactly? Because indeed, you can make egg at 61, 62, 63, 64, and so on. And they are all different, as you will see now. So you see, here is an egg at 61, um, probably one night. And nothing coagulated because you are below the denaturation temperature of any protein of the egg. Now, when you move to 64, you see there is a, the beginning of a coagulation for the egg white, not for the yolk. It's very soft, very tender. 
you move to 65 and you have this result, which is different. Now you move, for example, to 66 and you see there is a, a difference. Uh, of course, you, you can perceive that as well in your mouth when you eat it. Uh, 68, now the egg, the egg yolk is changing and you can mold it like a pomade. It's very interesting. Personally, I prefer the, the, the egg cooked at 67, but I don't have the picture, I'm sorry. Now you move to 75 and you see there is another result. Uh, we are not uh, moving through any one degree, but now I want you to see the difference of the egg white from this picture to the next. So be ready and you will see how a new uh, network adding to the previous can change everything. Here it is. So you see, more opaque, more white, stronger probably, harder, you see a big difference. And now you can choose um, the egg that you want to make. It's not a question of time, it's a question of temperature. As long, of course, as you reach the temperature, as long as you give time for it to go into the egg and um, uh, reach a certain temperature. So now you can use your oven and make perfect eggs. Perfect was a bad name. You can choose the egg that you prefer.